Hi everyone. <clears throat> I just got back from the the bigger town that's near us and I hit these bookstores and found all these beautiful books. I ended up getting 51 books. Some of them I'll use for the covers and some I'm using for what's inside of them. So I just thought I'd show them all because they're so gorgeous. Let's look at this one here. This one will definitely be for the cover. Um, most of these old books like this are between 1900 and 1930. This is gorgeous. It does have beautiful text pages, but no other illustrations. And here's another pretty one. Look at that. And, you know, these are really old. And this one here, the jacket doesn't really look that great, but I mean, I would use that. But look underneath. Look at that. It's it, like in really, really nice condition. And this one does have a few illustrations in it also. Really beautiful. And then I've got three of these little bird books. I've made journals out of these before. And what's nice about them is um, inside is all just pictures of birds. So I can use those. I'll leave a few of the original pages in, but then put journal pages in also. There's a beautiful one, little book here called Cousin Maud. And look at the back, the spine's beautiful. This is a this is actually a first edition, but it was like only four or five dollars, so I got it. I thought the cover was really pretty. Um, so this one is a an old uh, wildflower book from the fifties, and I got this one because it has these beautiful colored pictures of flowers, which will be perfect for embellishments and tags. And it also has these line drawings too, which I love. Um, so there are lots of illustrations in this one. Then, here's a couple more. Look at that. Isn't that great? Great book cover. I like this size. This one is called A Swiss Family Manhattan. Isn't that a beautiful cover? This is kind of hard to see, but um, it's gorgeous up close. This is all gilt. And I've had one of these books before by this same author. I didn't have this one. Uh, they are, it's poetry, and there are lots of illustrations in here. Which makes this a really neat book to use. Love all the pictures. This is all gilt. This is gold. I don't know if you can see it. The Old Gentleman of the Black Stock. The beautiful cameos. Look at the spine. How pretty that is. It's in really good shape. Definitely got that for the cover. There are some more. This one is a children's book. And it's actually um, a book about famous paintings, and then it tells a little story about the painting. So I recognize this one. I think it's called Feeding Her Flock or something like that. That's a very famous painting. I've seen that one before. So as you can see, the print is big. It has um, black and white pictures of the artwork, and then um, a little bit about each one. And I think they chose, you know, pictures that would appeal to children. So this one's, uh, I, I know I have a, another print of that that's in color. So this one's really pretty. I, it was only $2. has a beautiful cover. This one is not that old. I think it's from the 80s. And, but it's in really good condition. And the reason I got it is because what's on the inside, which are... Just these beautiful reproductions with poetry on really nice quality paper. So 
Definitely will have lots of uses for that. I got this one for the cover, Duchess of Few Clothes. It has this beautiful gilt uh, image on it. And don't think there's any illustrations in it. Uh, just for the cover. Our Common Friends and Foes. This is a children's book uh, about basically things that are pests or things that are helpful in the garden. And it does have illustrations and they're very nice. So the moths and butterflies, grubs, birds, nice pictures. No, there's not really any big full color plates or anything, but I like them. Um, this is just a children's book from the 50s. Bucky Button. It was only $2. I like the cover and inside just a really pretty vintage drawings that go with this story. So I'll probably make this into a children's themed journal and put some of the original pages in it. Isn't this gorgeous? This was actually one of the more expensive ones I bought. It's got gilt. It's got these gorgeous white flowers. And on the inside, it's just beautiful pages. 1904. It has beautiful prints. Look at that. Every page has, it's 1903, every page has artwork on it. I mean, every page. So look at that. They're all a little bit different. So that's a gorgeous one. And there are a few more. Um, this has a nice cover. It was only a dollar seventy-five, and not really anything in the way of illustrations, except for the author. But I'll use that. And Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. I thought the cover was really pretty. It's in good shape. And there might be a yeah. There are a few illustrations in here. It's kind of that cheap pulpy paper, but. I'll use them. And it was only $2, so good deal. I have a couple other books uh, of this type. They're children's stories, and they do have nice illustrations in them. See, some are color, and some are just, uh, you know, two colors. That's a pretty book. This one was uh, just has a beautiful cover. This is all gold. It's a beautiful angel on there. It's called City Festivals. It's obviously falling apart, but that's okay. I'm gonna just take that part in out anyway. Uh, really nice quality paper. Some illustrations, they're all line drawings. But nice. Definitely got that one for the cover. An old children's reader. Um, if you grew up when I did, you probably read these books when you were a kid. I know I did. Love the pictures. Look at that. So sweet. And the cover's beautiful, too. This one's called Going to the Sun. It's My sister found this one. She said, this is a kind of weird one, but you'll probably like it. Uh, it's not that old. 1923, I guess it is old. So anyway, it does have some illustrations in it. Um, but they're kind of bizarre creatures. And little poems to go with them. So, you know, I will probably use these illustrations in something. The Tower of Babel. 
Yeah, they are kind of odd, but interesting. And a beautiful cover. This one is uh, Carl Sandburg. Oh, and I also bought this, just a little booklet, which I thought was sweet. The two sisters, because I did go to this place with my sister and we do a lot of stuff together. So this somehow this will become a card for her or something. I didn't know there was a little letter inside. Dated 1945, so if I can figure out, if I can read it, that would be nice. Anyway, this book has, look at that beautiful end paper. It's Carl Sandburg. Um, what's the title of it? Early Moon. And it has some illustrations in it to go with the poetry. Just line drawings, but they're nice. So that's beautiful cover too. Hiawatha, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow with illustrations by Harrison Fisher. This one was $5, a little bit more, but worth it. It has that great um, slick, thick paper and look at these beautiful color tinted pictures. I just love them. Here's another one. Let's see what it is. Yeah, look at that. So, it's a beautiful book, and all the pages have that, I don't know if you can see the green in the background. It's kind of a like a foliage or leaves, some kind. Beautiful cover, nice size, it's big. So this was a two book set that my sister got for me. Um, Two books by Emily Bronte, uh, Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. Look at those beautiful covers. Look at this one, Wuthering Heights. And inside are some full page illustrations that are really nice. Kind of a dark theme though. But certainly very beautiful. So that one, and this is a nice size, and these um, are in perfect condition. They, it was a box set, so the box is what protected them because they are not very worn at all. I think, uh, let's look at the year on them. 1943. Yeah, this one has, this is um, Jane Eyre, and it also has illustrations. They're a little bit, a little bit strange looking, but beautiful. That, that is very pretty. So then, these three I've got just for what was inside. And I'll, I mean, I'll use the cover for something, tags or whatever. Um, it's like a, it's a Japanese workbook or something of some kind. Yeah. It has different illustrations in it. It's like, kind of like a dictionary or something has the writing in Chinese character Japanese characters and then also phonetically and this one these were both really cheap uh, I like the text I'm that's really great to use on tags or on a journal page and has pretty illustrations too this was actually a Christmas story there's Santa So even these pages will make nice backgrounds. I definitely will use that. This book, um, I love this one because it's full of uh, nice illustrations, but I got it for the botanical drawings. Oh, yeah, these. Look at those. There's a whole bunch of them. Those are really beautiful. And these pages could actually be used uh, for a small journal because it, I could fold it right there and you'd have something on each side, which is nice. 
got these three little golden books uh fun for hunky dory the pokey little puppy and the golden goose those are nice are this one here the way of the buddha has just gorgeous colored illustrations in there so like the size of them beautiful colors india love poems i have another book that's uh chinese love poems so i thought this one would be nice to have too it's from the 1960s and it does have some illustrations and i read a few of the poems already i like them pretty colors that's a gorgeous book i got this for the cover of course and i don't think there's really much inside that i'm going to use i need to find a use for all that text this one i got for the pictures it's got great drawings of birds which i mean i could just fussy cut some of these out and use them on tags or as page embellishments and as you can see there's tons of them so that was definitely worth it and i didn't pay too much for it either so it's a good deal and last bunch um ansel adams very popular uh, photographer when i was young he did a lot of photography at yosemite which i worked there a summer uh, cleaning cabins so definitely i have heard of him and I love these kind of art books that have a lot of white space. So if I use this in a journal, I know that there's going to be plenty of journaling space for people to use too. And then you just also have this beautiful artwork. So it's great. So anyway, that's a beautiful book. And this one, uh, the the bookstore owner just threw it in for free. I actually was buying this and it was like a dollar. It is a high school chemistry club newspaper from 1943. And I really liked the typewritten pages, which is why I got it. It's about how to start a victory garden. So it was during World War II. And then he threw this in for free, which was it's kind of an interesting book. I hadn't noticed it, but I, if I had, I probably would have wanted to buy it. So it's, it's, somebody wrote a mystery novel, kind of like Murderer on the Orient Express, except this one takes place on a cruise ship. Um, not sure when it was written. In the 30s, yeah. It says the dates on these things are 36. So it's full of, like, evidence. So these are things like, uh, police reports, suppose handwritten kind of letters, photographs, scene of the crime. It's just uh, a lot of interesting stuff. So, things like this uh, a cablegram, some kind of report, little card, see? It's all bound together. Pretty cool book. So, and um, it will be easy to take it apart because this is all that's holding it together is this ribbon. It was $17.95 originally. I got it for free. So that's all the books I got. Besides going to the bookstore, we did go to Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby and Target, and I got did get some of those seed envelopes that Target has, which are really cool. And another napkin. I don't need any more napkins, but I really like this one because. You can take little bits of flowers and put them here and there, and I like that. Paper flowers, I like these. I think these are gonna be fun for collage. Tissue paper with mermaids, some blank cards, because I do make cards also. Some um, gold washi tape. This is some Tim Holtz washi tape. It's kind of all like stamps. Um, some crinkly ribbon and some clear hole reinforcers. So that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching.